men working on a sewer in Mequon had one of their most interesting jobs ever. They found two injured squirrels, squirrels in need of care. Our Ashley Sears with how quick thinking and a little love helped save a life. Bucket coming down. Chuck Seidel and Jared Spangenberg know a thing or two about teamwork. 10-4. The two men work on sewers together throughout Wisconsin. Bucket up. Monday morning may have brought one of their most interesting jobs yet. I got on the radio. Yeah, Chuck, there's these two squirrels here, you know, come, come down. The two squirrels were soaking wet and badly injured. The night before had brought strong storms. We tried to keep them dry and uh, we ended up putting them on the back of the truck. One squirrel died, the other was barely hanging on. That's when Seidel took the lead. I gave him mini little chest compressions. I flipped him over and I pat his back. He kind of spit up a little water. And all of a sudden, the squirrel like came too. Jared's standing on the end of the truck like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Work prevented them from taking the little guy to a wildlife rescue. So the squirrel they named Little Jerry recovered in a bed in their truck. You're doing okay, buddy. Though. Seidel doing brought him good. home until again. he fully he's recovered. Look at how healthy he looks. Days later, he's, he's now living in a tree and eating treats <gasps> in at, his backyard. Look at you. Yeah, good job. An unlikely bond now formed from a team focused on a furry friend. We well, come across weird stuff, but nothing like this. We're told little Jerry enjoys the occasional granola bar and he keeps sticking around Seidel's backyard. He's able to recognize him because of a distinct black mark on his back and some red in his tail. Reporting in Mequon, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News.